All right, man. Uh, last but not least, before we get out of here, looks like we are getting a Blade movie, but not the one you think we're getting. Okay. Michael B. Jordan and Ryan Coogler's vampire movie is getting it moving. So look like we do. we're going to get us a vampire movie, whether we getting Blade or not. And one of the people who was supposed to be in the Blade movie, Dale Rory Lindo, he's coming on over to this vampire movie. Hey, that's fine with me. This guy's phenomenal actor. Go watch. Just just put in Spike Lee, and he's going to come up. I'm telling you. <laughs> but um, what's very interesting, too, about this information is I heard this is supposed to be set in the Jim Crow era. So I'm like, oh, you talking about? about I was like, why the Jim Crow era? Like, goddamn, can we just like go to modern day? Like, can we do this? Nah, nah, nigga, no. mm -mm. We gonna get Django and Chain vampires? (laughs) (laughs) Oh yeah, I know y'all. Y'all probably, oh man, we getting a woke vampire movie? Nah, nah. Let's wait. I trust this, and maybe the information ain't even accurate as far as the whole Jim Crow era. But if I'm not mistaken, that's what I've seen. And it already said it's supposed to be set in a certain time period, so we're gonna have to see. Yeah. Hell no, I'll just wait for a trailer or something like that. But right now I'm just that Jim Crow show is just like why? (laughs) Why? It's gonna be interesting, man. I'm we're gonna have to see. We're gonna have to see. It could be like interview with a vampire slash goddamn uh twelve years of slave, huh? (laughs) That's terrible. (laughs) (laughs) That's terrible. Those things don't, don't go together. Oh, oh but man. now we got him on some like John Wick shit where he gonna be coming after like slave owners and shit. Like, hey, <laughs> this motherfucker start coming out with shades and a blade. I'm just like, oh, Marvel, you might want to uh, uh tell- get these hey, motherfuckers for plagiarism. Let over this here. shit be real good though. Per- think about let <laughs> this shit be actually really good and have some good fighting scenes because he said it's going to be anime influences in here. So. <laughs> I wonder what this type of anime like, is it going to be like Helsing or like Vampire D. They're going to be like turning Demon slaves Slayer. into vampires, bro. They're going to be it turning be slaves like into Demon vampires. Slayer. You said what? It should be like Demon Slayer. Oh, that, that would be an interesting That's thing. Cool. Unless he go to Spawn route and the nigga get sent to hell and he turn into a vampire. I don't know. <laughs> But we're going to have to see, man. But I love this casting dudes because Deroy Lindo, like I said, is a good actor. And if y'all haven't seen The Five Bloods on Netflix, you will miss now. Like, I was so surprised because Spike Lee, the last couple movies he did was being so like, like, damn, man. He that shot rack shit he did. He did that. <laughs> he did that, bro. You said I couldn't even finish it. I could not finish it. I was like, no, no, no. Damn. I'm, I'm sitting here like, Mute, you got Angela Bassett in here. You got <laughs> that's a top tier two movie right there. Oh man, damn you, L. Jackson doing the narration. Hey, motherfuckers, you in Chicago, but anyway. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know what? This would have been dope instead of them announcing this is gonna be a vampire movie. If they said, like, oh, this is Afro Samurai or some shit, that'd be fucking dope. I would love that. I mean, they can still do that. I would love a live action version of Afro Samurai. I feel like, but th- they was having a bidding war for this, so I'm guessing we got mm-hmm. something with this. So I'm just ready to see what they're gonna do because I definitely like the anime influences that they had in Creed Three with the slow motion punches and everything. Yeah. Like they think of Goku and the reactions with the sweat coming off the face and then ah, 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 ah. punching himself, <laughs> uh, punching yeah. himself and shit. Yeah. So y'all let me know, man. Delroy Lindo, if y'all not familiar with this guy, y'all got to get on it because he's got an amazing discography of movies. Definitely go check it out. But I'm definitely looking forward to this as far as Ryan Kluger and Michael B. Jordan teaming up once again for a Supernatural movie. Let me know how y'all feeling about this. All right, man. I'm glad y'all came through for my rent. 